he came, he opened the door, and he was screaming, come on, help me, somebody shot my mother and father. And everyone ran out of the bar, and that was it. They Did all you took go? off. No, I had to stay. I was tending more. They all jumped in his car and took off. Today, police combed the DeFeo's handsome three-story house for clues while divers explored the backyard swimming pool for the still unfound murder weapon. Police have been questioning the son, Ronald, and now say he is being, quote, safeguarded. Investigators say without explanation that they now feel young DeFeo was in the house at the time of the murders, but they're not yet considering him a suspect. And so we forth. have no suspect at this time. Is we have no indication of the motive at this time. What about Ronald uh, DeFeo, the son, the surviving son? Ronald is being safeguarded by the Suffolk, Suffolk County Police at this time. Why safeguarded? Why? Because the six members of the family dead, and we don't know why, and he's the sole remaining member. Is he also a suspect? He's not a suspect at this time. Few people in the neighborhood knew the family well, but those who did describe them as close-knit. Well, I figured, I think they were just very sweet, very religious people, very family-minded people. And that's about all I could say. Very good, very generous, this type. I mean, very close with their children. There's one element in the usual mass murder story which seems to be missing from this case. There's no sense of fear in this community. No feeling of a mass murderer on the loose. People we talk to seem to feel that whatever was the motive for this crime, it had something to do with the family. It's not something that's going to return to bother anyone else. In Amityville, Long Island, Phil Barno, News Center 4.